Do not attempt to adjust your screen. Forbes DVD Live is taking over. You feel me? Like, I was in the building with Tragedy Gaddafi, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand me? Like, that was the motherfucking, uh, you know, the sprout that watered our seed when we was just to yeah. this whole sense of, um, you know, a rebellious ghetto aesthetic. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because when he came with his commentary, he wasn't coming on stiff and shit. You feel me? Like, he represented, you know, the dirt that we was from. Yeah. So, to be in the room to see that brother still persistent and still at it. And like you said, when you turned that music on, and just to see the atmosphere going back to what it used to be, the element. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of things that we're witnessing right now is because there's certain things that are lacking. Like the lawn has been manicured. You feel me? So, to see that whole aspect of things come back to the grid and the dirt and New York used to be, a lot of things is taking place and wouldn't be allowed back then. A, a lot of stuff is going on in our community right now with the police brutality. Um, you also was a victim of the police brutality. Just a lot of people that. don't know that. Um, yeah, you could um, Google Blue Hill takes on eight NYPD officers, yeah. something like that. It's online. What brought that situation up? I was bending on, on 125th Street in front of the Apollo and I witnessed they was arresting a young brother across the street for bootlegging DVDs. So what happened at the time is that the NYPD had different task force going up and down two fifth. So the D's had jumped out in a taxi cab. You know what I'm saying? And they booked him because he didn't see them coming. He was selling DVDs on the block. So he was handcuffed in front of the um, the squad car. And what the D did, he opened the door from the other side. He was going to crawl in the seat and pull him in because he was holding up the booking process and the more he was holding the booking process more and more people was coming out there so they felt that the scene was escalating you know what I'm saying so the D he was telling his man what he was gonna do he's like yo I'm gonna go in there I overheard him he's like I'm gonna go in there and pull him in from the other side so this brother is standing with his back to the police car and when they pulled him in I was envisioning it was gonna you know what I'm saying like he was gonna hit his head on the door and everything like that so I ran up on the police, like, yo, you can't do that. You feel me? Uh -huh. And he was like, the fuck out my face. This time verbatim. Up. Yeah, verbatim. You know? Yeah. Or go back to the other side of the street, this time. You know, he was trying to direct me as to what, you know? And I might have said a thing or two and then escalated from there. And then he attempted to put me in the same chokehold that they put Eric Gardner in. And I went into a defense stand and locked it. And then it was like eight of them coming trying to put me in the same and shit. Like, like ambulances and shit. Yeah, like they was that. coming from everywhere, baby. Um, being firsthand a victim of it, when you see what's going on today, does that make you stand out there more and more and want to fight what's going on? I mean, initially, that was somewhat of my spark that drove me into what it is that I'm doing today. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because, as you know, like I had, I was in media at um. At some point, with with with, uh, with bad news on street knowledge. Prior yeah. to that, I was doing four corners. Prior to that, you know what I'm saying? I was heavily invested in what we call "quote unquote" consciousness. Uh -huh. But I stepped away from it. You know, I started getting more into what we was dealing with in regards to the music industry. Uh -huh. You know, um, just trying to balance that particular act out. You feel me? Where we come from, you know. Yeah. It's this aspect. You know, we partying that night. Feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Studying in the daytime and shit like that. So I was moving more so towards one element, and then it kind of shifted me towards the need to feel like, yo, I need to be present out here, get this information out. Bang. The best way that I could bang on these people is to get this information out. You feel me? Because I had utilized what I learned in more science to defend myself. I had got charged as a result of that altercation. Wow. Because when we fell, two police got cut. You know what I'm saying? They, they scraped their face and they were bleeding what have you. So they charged me with assault. They charged me with assault. Even though you didn't throw one punch? I'm not gonna say that I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they were bruised, I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I ended up defending myself with no lawyer in court and I defeated that case. Wow. And I was even able to bring suit against um, the, the city of New York. You know, and I did all of that with the information that I learned in those wow. classes. Wow. Dealing with more science, you know what I'm saying? So I felt that it was a need at that point for me to get this information out because I knew that I wasn't the only one dealing with this particular issue. And I remember um, a week before I had, before I was assaulted by the NYPD, 
they also assaulted the lawyer, uh, Tupac's lawyer, I forgot his name. It's a brother, he represented Pop when he had his case here in New York City against the police. Is it the, um... William Sutton, something like that. You have to Google it, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? There was a brother, they pulled him out of his car on Atlantic Avenue, him and his wife, you know what I'm saying? And they put the beats on him. So, I'm looking at a situation where I'm like, man, they, they putting the beats on lawyers these days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? So, what, 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 what do we have left at this point, other than information? Like, how are we gonna fight back? Me and you, Bill, as, as you know, me and your brother, me, you, and your brother, Bill, right. off the record a lot. Indeed. Millions March. You yeah. were a part of it. You were out there. I was. I was doing coverage, correct. And you and you and you've been a part of Millions March mentally in your brain. Millions March consciousness. Uh, to a degree. When, when you when you what what do you think is looking to be accomplished from that movement in Millions March? What, when you look at it, what do you I, say? I, again, you know. Because we are we're, we're, we're present, we're conscious of the particular situation at hand, we know that a segment of society is going to respond only how they know how to respond. I also know that there's a smaller, a fringe, a niche element of society that wants to respond totally different. Then I know there's another niche segment of society that would do it, you know what I'm saying? Address it from a, a whole different aspect, you know what I'm saying? So. You got to qualify all responses. So when I'm standing there with the marches and I'm seeing what they're going through, I'm seeing that they're trying to uh, pretty much, they're trying to uh, uh, seek remedy through demonstrating, you know what I'm saying, through raising awareness to these particular issues. And they feel that that's the route, that's the best route that they can take. You know, I don't 100% necessarily agree that that's going to be the effective measure but I do understand the tactics. It yeah. plays for media. You gotta get the word out. You're standing in solidarity with other people across the world that are also standing. So you gotta show up in force. You gotta show up in numbers. But is there a particular level of leadership involved? Are there demands on the table? I don't know. I'm also sitting back and I'm looking at CNN and I'm seeing the hackers are the ones that's really getting shit done yeah, they, they in this world. Down. They shut shit down. You know what I'm saying? When they got demands and what have you, that's the, they, they, yeah, you know, shit that. that's the shit they listening to. Yeah, yeah. And they said they don't negotiate with terrorists, but they negotiate <laughs> with hackers. Yeah. You feel me? And they can't catch them either. And they can't catch them. Yeah. So I'm sitting there like, yo, that's the best policy yeah, right yeah, now yeah, that we yeah. got popping. Because if it wasn't you know, for them, so, we might not have known what Darren Wilson and some of them look like. They exposed a lot. I mean, they exposed a lot. You know what um, I'm saying? So right, right now they said the revolution will not be terrible. They said the revolution will not be televised. Right. That look like it might change now, like it might be televised. We're seeing. I mean, do you think we're in a revolutionary stance, or is it a lot of photo ops going on? Is I think it a lot? Cosmologically, just based on where the planet is at, just based on where we at inside of the cosmos, it's a time for revolution. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? With the whole aspect of Uranus and Aries and what have you. So, the energy that you see on the planet is, is the same energy that's going on throughout the universe. We understand what's taking place. Okay. Now, how a person is about, about, about to go through a means to achieve change that they're talking about, that's gonna take strategy, you know what I'm saying? So what I don't see is strategy. Okay. I don't see strategy. You, you see me? mobilization. But I see mobilization. Yeah. I don't see strategy. And, you know, I think that this is like the beginning of ultimately what will bring about that level of quote unquote change. Because a lot of conversations need to be, to, you know, we gotta, we gotta talk about this. When, when, when on right now, if, it, if, if, if somebody's a, a novice and they've seen a few lectures and they've seen a few of right. uh, these YouTube scholars and shit like that, and, and they're looking to come into the consciousness, right? What would you what would what would be the first step you tell them that they need to go through? And that's a good question because there's millions of people. They, they lights just came on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? With it. it's, yeah, all of a sudden. Yeah. You know what I mean? Millions of people and I'm getting emails and phone calls from around around not only around the country, but around the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People want to know what's the next step, how they can um, you know, better better get a grasp on the information, where just like you said, where they should start. And I tell people, you know, I always tell people the same thing that 
you have to pretty much, it's just ultimately, whatever you go through is always going to lead back to your knowledge yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you jump in an organization, if you read a million books, if you look at, to, if you look at a million YouTubes, it's always going to lead back to you knowing yourself. Right? Mm -hmm. So what qualifies one person don't qualify the next. So there's no broad answer that I can give to that. I can only tell a person, whatever your strengths are, even in your past form of life, whatever you found out was your strength, you know what I'm saying? Try to integrate that into this new life that you live in. You know? Mm -hmm. Being a vegan ain't for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because some people got canine and, and, and uh, you have uh, carnivores, uh, yeah. herbivores, you know, you had different... Being, yeah, so, you know, some people say the revolution starts in the kitchen. I'm like, cool, granted. You know what I'm saying? But that's not going to be for everybody. Being frontline military, that's not your, that's not everybody's thing. That's not where you're going to show up at. You know what I'm saying? Your calling might be media. Your calling might be the print. It might be the press. You might be the one that's coming up with the cool slogans. You might attack it through fashion. You feel me? So there's so many different roles to play. The only way that you're going to qualify yourself is by knowing yourself. Right now, we, we, we see um, everybody believes that in the conscious community that it's an enemy. Um, but I see dudes banging on each other and arguing with each other and debating with each other. Right. Who is the enemy? Again, um, the enemy is always the lower self. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're dealing with consciousness and awareness and that lower self is always gonna express itself outside of itself when you can't, you know what I'm saying? Um, Directly see it for what it is inside of yourself. So the reflection of what people are banging on is the shit that's unstable about themselves. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you put all these people in the room and because of, quote unquote, there's some information available, one person is led to believe that everybody's supposed to think the same. So it's control, you feel me? If you don't think like I think, I don't fuck with you. Or you got it.